wheelchair rugby is the same rules as rugby league, apart from if you're in a wheelchair, instead of using your legs, you're using obviously the wheels to sort of push, and uh, instead of using your legs to kick the ball, you're actually using your arms, but apart from that, the rules are exactly the same. It is a mixed club. Initially, it was started up through Armed Forces Covenant funding, and we looked at veterans because of injuries and stuff like that coming out of the military and the wider community. So uh, the team split about 50-50 with 50% ex-veterans from every corner of our community and the youngest is 14 years old and the oldest is 80 years old. So when you look at diversity, you've got it within the team. I am the Disability Programme Manager for the borough, so to get the opportunity to get a wheelchair sport going was brilliant and to be linked up with the Rochdale Hornets and to have the armed forces involved was even better. Uh, what's particularly appealing to me is, is the game itself, it's brilliant to play but it's quite a high performance game, we've already entered the league so it's really good for me to get great examples for other disabled people and other young disabled people to see some great role models. started coming here just for the fun of it and it's quite good, you get a mixture of all kit, you know, veterans, children, up to, well, 14, 15 year olds. Anybody can join in. It's quite entertainment, it's good fun. My mum made me come here, then I started playing, then I liked it. Very active, fun, and you meet new friends. It's fast, it's fun, and it's a really good interactive crowd, good team people. There's a good mixture of teams, but I like how there's so many veterans on the team as well. Being a veteran myself, it's nice to get back in with veterans. I mean, I see sport as a really quite neutral ground for people to come together. People can just come along, enjoy the game, and out of that, friendships flourish.